Today's topics are drift speed and current density. Let's begin by taking a look at a section of wire filled with valence electrons. When we connect the wire to a voltage source, current begins to flow from positive to negative. The current is a series of elastic collisions, which makes a longitudinal wave propagating in the direction of the current. The drift velocity is the slower motion of the electrons in the field produced by the voltage source. The voltage source produces an electric field in the direction of the current, which tells the direction of the force on a positive test charge. But since the electrons are oppositely charged, they will move in the opposite direction, hence drift speed. Now, let's take a look at a smaller region of the wire of length D and of cross-sectional area A. Note that the current in the wire is given by the rate dQ dt, but since we don't want to deal with derivatives, we will simply view this current as Q over t. The drift speed is simply the ratio of d over t. We will look at the speed instead of velocity to make our analysis simpler, but the drift velocity of the electrons is opposite the direction of the current. We will now discuss current density. Remember that current is directed along the wire in this direction. The current in the wire can be defined as the integral of the current density times the small cross-sectional area dA. In our ongoing effort to avoid calculus, assume uniform motion of the charges and area then the current can simply be stated as the current density times the cross-sectional area of the wire. Therefore, current density is simply current over area, which carries units of amperes per meter squared and is the definition of current density. We will now begin to put it all together by reviewing the equation so far for drift speed, current, and current density. Please remember that many of these values are vectors and that we are looking at the scalar quantities for simplicity. We will start the derivation with charge density, which is defined as the number of charged particles per volume. In this case, is just the number of electrons in the region of the wire that we are isolating. current being charge over time, instead of Q, I can look at the number of charges times the charge of an electron. Your book represents the charge of an electron with an E, so I will substitute it here for consistency. The number of particles can be defined as the charge density times the volume Substituting volume for the cross-sectional area times the distance of the wire we are looking at. And substituting <clears throat> the distance for the drift speed times time yields this equation. We notice that the time reduces, so I'm left with this expression for current. Reviewing our definition of current density, substituting in for I, I notice that the areas reduce, and I'm left with this expression for current density. Placing the vectors back in, I get this expression, which is the formalized definition of current density.